Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another writing experiment video. This one brought to you by my patrons, as in they voted on which experiment this could be. I gave them four options and they chose write and edit a short story on stream using viewer suggestions and oracle card chaos. Now if you've been to any of my streams, I often use oracle cards to determine how long I'll spread for. I'll use my Kingly Skull dice, I'll use the D100. So I thought it would be fun to not only use these cards to determine how long we're sprinting for, but also to help control the story. Really to inspire the story. Basically use what I pull as a prompt and build the story from there. Now like a lot of my challenges and goals, um, what I originally imagined is not always what happens. So when I was describing this to my patrons, I said the goal would be to completely draft this during our first double stream day and then use the second double stream day to edit and revise it. Is this possible? How short will it need to be to make it possible? Who knows? We'll find out if you want to. So I thought that I could pull the cards, brainstorm this story, completely draft it, revise it, edit it, line edit it within the span of two streams. <laughs> Why did I think this? I don't know. As you will see over the course of this video, I, I elongated the experiment. The experiment, in fact, as I'm filming this intro, has not ended. <laughs> this was for May and it is July. <sighs> I've had to do more than the two streams. However, I think this is actually going to work out even better than I'd imagined in some ways. Uh, not only does this reinforce the idea that I often need to 2x or 3x how long I think something's gonna take me, which is a lesson I have learned through chronicling my journey, but also I think it's gonna be really fun to extrapolate because I did this entirely on stream, how long each aspect of the writing process takes me and seeing if I find that sort of comparable to novellas or novels, which is what I usually write more of. With that said, let me take you back to uh, when I was naive, when I really thought it would only be two streams. <laughs> okay. Hello, let's go into maze double stream day number one. Set up our timer for the stream. Why must it always start? And add us. Hello. All right, we have our decks. Let me take a sip of my coffee for, for power. I need to learn some more about tarot fully. So y'all will also be helpful to me. Those of you who know tarot, you can explain the cards if I get confused. And oh, this one jumped. Oh, oh, it, it was reversed. We'll think of it that way. Nine of cups. We got, oh, the man, not what I expected. And now the believe in your own magic oracle deck. Oh, a 32, escapist, come home to yourself. All right, first sprint, first thing to do, clean this up so I can work. I am thinking about maybe drawing another one of these cards because I got the man, which I don't normally get. I think this might help clarify things. So I think the plan here is to write down each of the cards that I got and also their various meanings, not just from what I pulled, but also from what everyone told me that their version of the Nine of Cups was. That way I can see it all in my project just for like quick drafting nonsense. Okay, it's good use of my practice warm up spread. <laughs> First sprint done. You wanted to get your guesses in again. We're gonna go one to 41, just not, actually it still could be 28. If I get another man card, that is just the deck telling me to figure my shit out. <laughs> and, oh, the tree, interesting. I haven't pulled this one in a really long time. Health, growth, progress, expansion, lineage, vitality. On a mark, get set, go! Okay, I now have a very long, very bad poem. <laughs> 
but in some strange twist, I think this is actually gonna help me when I go to write the short story. A short story was not coming out for some reason, but a weird poem did. I have never had this happen before, but you know what? A first time for everything. It's not a good poem. There's not necessarily a rhyme scheme. And at times I don't think there's a scheme at all. It was just literally like, like this kind of thing. It went from outside to in, out, through my hands and it appeared. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up making this experiment a three, a three stream. <laughs> so we're really gonna see if I can actually take this and make it into a short story. I have some ideas, a little bit of molding over between Wednesday and today, which I think helped. Let us roll the D100. Prepare yourselves for the thunk. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> it is not 100, but it is very close. 92. Go! Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the D100 blessed us or cursed us, depending on how you want to look at <laughs> I actually did manage to get through more or less the entire story. So I got through the middle and I got through the end. Those parts are definitely skipped over a little bit more. So I'm going to guess that when I go to revise it in the next stream, it'll probably get up to about 1500 words if I had to guess. But that is like short story length. So. You want to you can do it. Oh, that's a good girl. Good job. All right. Thank you guys very much. And I will see you all soon and for another one of these but editing this story. Today is Tuesday, June 17th. I have just gotten out of the shower. Buffy has just joined me. And I'm going to be continuing my May writing experiment using Oracle cards to write a short story exclusively on stream, right? Okay, so that's that's where I'm at. And I'm saying this not for you because you're watching it in one cohesive video, but for me to really plant me back in this moment. That's been one of the interesting things about writing a story exclusively on stream is that then when you don't stream for a bit, it has vanished from my brain. I've not revisited it. I've not reread it. Your brain always thinks of stuff, you know? Sometimes allowing yourself a break from the project often I find that that helps me when I am stuck. Um, it's like somewhere in the back of the brain, the right idea is there, just needs some time to like bubble forward, you know? But in this instance, I have really not thought about this much at all in a while. So what we're gonna do, I think, there's the poem. <laughs> I need to reread what I've written here and then rewrite it, revise it. It feels sort of fairy tale esque which I think is going to be what I aim even more for. So we're going to see. I did think of one line of dialogue that I could put at the beginning and then circle back around to the end um, that would be pretty cool, but as I've not reread it in a while, I actually don't know if that's going to fit. So there is a concept. There is an idea. Let us finish the short story experiment. <laughs> we're ready. So I actually had to move a concept down here. I need to determine how short I want it to be. And because I have to do it all entirely on the stream, if I want to try to get it done within a reasonable number of streams, it has to be pretty short. You just don't always think about how long something takes to do until like I add up the amount of sprints we've done and like, I don't know, this could be kind of fun. <laughs> I'll have like, close to an exact minute amount of which something took me. Admittedly, I am filming this part at least while uh, in the middle of a sprint. So, you know, but yeah, I needed to delete this concept. So if I wanted to make this like a 5,000 word thing, I think I'd put this back in here. But as it stands, I think I need to make this like close to 1,000 word version. I hope it still hits the fairy tale vibes, but I do need the name of the country and the name of the main character. So I did ask for some suggestions and I got some pretty great uh, responses to that. <laughs> Using the link Zara sent me, I came up with a country name. I saw these two combined and like I could not come up with any combination I liked better than the two of them combined. <laughs> so country name, best in Europe. And then I wanted something to mean brave. I looked up there was Baldrick and then from there I got Polly. 
um, which actually is a name in some different places, a bunch of different places that means a lot of different things, but like maybe just strong, which also works for the story. So, <laughs> and I did basically finish the revision portion. Um, so now the next stage would literally just be editing. And the difference for me between those two is the revision is where I was making sure that like all the elements of the story were there. And then the editing portion is just sentence by sentence and making sure I like the sound of it, uh, basically. So all the elements are there. There are definitely some sentences that need more work than others, but like every word that's on the page right now, every sentence that's on the page, I think needs to stay there, just be rework or combined you know but like there's nothing superfluous now and with that we got about bum, 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 bum. yep a little bit more but just about a thousand words again so we'll see probably gonna do that next time but like I think I'm gonna fill in some stuff here now and try and get rid of the like outright uh, highlighted bits yeah Okay, we are in the middle of our first sprint of the fourth stream and hopefully final stream. I have pulled up the project and have an editing round. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste what I had and then edit in this section. Because some of this experiment is being able to show off um, the work along the way. I always think that's fun to see. Also, Juniper caught me. Juniper also like swooped in at the last moment and correctly guessed the... <laughs> when it starts, so this also feels fitting. Hi, Juniper. So, pausing there momentarily. Um, I actually think this part I have now made decent. I've filled in most of the yellow and orange and caps lock. I do clearly still have some left. And then I need to fix all of this part, uh, really the conclusion wrap up. It's not as bad as I remember. <laughs> Um, I will say that one of my concerns is I don't think that I'm getting the tints right. I think I've switched tints a couple times because I was going for like fairy tale esque vibe at the start, and then we're centered on the main character. We're going over really like some of his past while intermixed with the future or the present, and I think I'm just fucking it up. So <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna use some kind of like grammar software later and be like, okay, where am I? Where am I going wrong here? Um, so. I just need some some space away once I finish this, but otherwise I think it's actually okay. We're gonna see if this conclusion wrap up lands, and uh, you know, me you know. This is I'm hoping our fourth and final sprint, but I will say I've had to reread this so many times. And I keep finding bits, the highlighted parts, where I'm like, I don't know that this is hitting. I need to reread it all to make sure that the end is landing because I made it a little bit shorter. It's reminding me of the problem I usually have when I start line editing things, which is I just need to take so many days in a row so that I can like clear my brain of it and come back with fresh eyes, tinker a little bit, take another day break, come back, fresh eyes. And like, eventually what I'll do is I'll I'll only be tinkering with like little words here or there. And that's my sign where I'm like, okay, you've done enough. It's done. But it is hard to see the forest for the trees right now. And I'm just like, this experiment might have been beating me. All right, I have just finished my stream. I feel like I am quite close to finishing this, but I just could not do it. And to quote Becca, I'm pivoting. So I'm gonna finish my camp work tomorrow. It'll be the 1st of July. And then I'm gonna do another stream. How to tell I was anxious about this story and could not figure it out. And now we are on the final day, final, final, hopefully fingers crossed, final day of the experiment, final stream of the experiment where I'm going to be line editing. I think 
this sort of start stop about the line editing I'm finding more difficult in comparison to how I normally line edit. It's good in some ways because it's time away from the story so you can really see it with fresh eyes again. I think that's a very important part of this process, part of the writing process in general. But with a story of this length what ideally I would do is kind of tinker with it once a day and once I get it to the point where it's not really changing all that much I can be like okay it's done. Ugh. My goal for today is to get to that place. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I have now taken the story. I'm feeling as good as I can about it. Taken it, copy and pasted it over to Grammarly. Grammarly I find is like hit or miss but it is helpful for like the last little bit of a project just to check. Some of their suggestions are like stylistic things like I'll show you. Every child born in Vesinero dreams of being good and strong and brave so they're like at a comma and I'm like no I want it this way specifically. <laughs> or for if you are good and strong and brave and they want it to just be if you are good and strong and brave. But I'm going for a specific vibe and I want it to to sound a certain way. So like I can appreciate that but like also no. Um, but you get down and you can see some of these are gonna be certain word choices, just some things to think over. Sometimes it's like this is confusing which I'll know about but yeah. Anyways just things to play with. And Diana has spotted me. So we're going to make these last minute changes and then hopefully I am done. I think I'm done. I feel as good about it as I can right now. I think it is one of those where I would have to rest on it but at that point it's like there's not really another stream needed. I'm really just tinkering with uh with commas at this point. <laughs> dun dun dun! <laughs> I did it! I'm done! <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and link to the story on my website so you can check it out, as well as the Google Doc that I've been working on or in entirely the whole time so that you can kind of see my thought process as I worked on this. I hope you can also see the elements that I took from each of the cards to create this story. This was a long experiment made longer by I just kept feeling like the story wasn't quite right you know. So this should be going up at like the very tail end of September because I felt like I needed some space away from the story to figure out if I even like if I even felt okay sharing it. And I, I read it this morning and it's, it's it's not as bad as I was making it out to be. I think that's the hard part when we're like in the midst of creating something and we're just like it's not doing the thing it needs to do that no matter how much we tinker away until we like fix that fundamental thing that's bothering us we just there there's only so much you can improve it in your own mind right so all that to say I like the story for what it turned out to be I do still think as you read it that at the very end it it probably moves a little bit too fast the transformation uh that my character uh undergoes no spoilers if you haven't gotten there yet <laughs> I think the biggest lesson though is actually in how we come up with stories okay so I struggled a little bit as you'll saw in the first string to really like latch onto an idea. A lot of the times when I'm writing novels the idea has been percolating in the back of my mind for ages. You know it's I really don't put anything down on the page until it's like banging on the the doors the doors of my brain. I don't know where this analogy is going <laughs> until it's like let me out let me out and then it has to come out, right? This idea was not at that stage yet. So ultimately I think this is good. It's a good story. I liked it in the same way that the other times I've done um, timed stories have gone, like back when I did the writing and drinking videos with Brooke, um, where you take a prompt and it's like, okay, you have an hour to get this done and whatever happens is what happens. I like it to that respect. And so if I did this exact same experiment but with different cards I think you know could take longer, could take less time. Um, I could find an idea that immediately clicks with me um, or I could find an idea that I was even more stumped to come up with something from the cards, right? So this was a fun exercise but a good lesson to me generally. When I've submitted to Drabbles or short stories uh, for magazines and stuff I usually take their prompts and it takes me like two or three angles 
completely different concepts from the one prompt to come up with the story I want. And I'll write maybe halfway through before I abandon that one and like pivot and find another idea, right? So yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. And I actually think the only thing I'd really change is I think I would have tried to have the idea like come to a stream with multiple ideas because I actually really enjoyed being able to fully track my progress across streams. Um, that was really fun for me. I liked being able to share one sort of cohesive story that I was telling and every single update was about that. And I think that would probably cut down on two. Two of the streams, maybe one of the streams. <laughs> if I already felt really solid in at least like one or two ideas. Maybe next time have a couple ideas and then roll a dice or get people to say which idea they liked the most and work on that one. That could be a really fun interpretation of this experiment. I think also something that could be fun is if I had one prompt and you know, everyone who was in the stream all wrote on this one prompt together. I think it would be really cool to see all the different iterations and how differently our minds went with one prompt. That would be really cool. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I committed for the whole time. It's not my favorite story I've ever written, but I did have fun with it, as, as aggravating as I felt it at times. <laughs> Please do comment down below. Let me know if you'd ever attempt something like this. Let me know if you've ever started writing a story and then realized that the idea as a whole needed to have a little pause and you needed to percolate on it longer. If you're someone who enjoys using prompts, how many sort of ideas do you come up with per prompt? Do you also sort of go one way, see if it works when it doesn't sort of come back, do another way? How many times would that take you? Yes. And if you'd like to write a story using the man, Knight of Cups reversed, the escapist or the tree, I would love to read it. Let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to my patrons for joining me along this ride, this very long journey, and for voting on this. I learned a lot from it and it's kind of, those are invaluable lessons. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.